Good evening. Just waiting a minute to see if anybody's up at this time of night right now. At the end, if I have time, um, we'll, we'll try to seal just a couple of these. I'm talking a little bit low just because the little one's asleep, but usually I seal with just the DuraClear. And um, I use these little foam brushes because you can just throw them away after. So those are really good to use when you're sealing. The triple thick I just learned about. And um, I use like one coat of that and one coat of DuraClear and it gives you a, a really glassy um, shine to it, but um, and you can seal inside any time of year, it doesn't matter. But um, I tend to only do that with certain things because it, because the triple thick it smells a bit. Okay, so doing a little pour in here. Let's see, um, what should I start with? Trying to decide, let's see. I think I'm gonna use the orange and this um, turquoise color first. See how that goes, I, got a, I have a little bit of this orange, but I got a little bit more of that one, and then the white. And then I've got the white here, and I'm using um, a couple drops of the, the sleek oil treatment on there, so see how that goes. And I've already mixed it in with the white, just a few drops and then you mix it in. Okay, so that's mixing in there. And then, um, so I'm gonna start with that first. Let's see what it looks like. Hi there, Kathy. Okay, so I'm gonna start with white first. I like to put it at the bottom, but not too much. I'm gonna kinda layer it a little bit. Just putting a little bit of white that's mixed with that oil. And then I'm gonna do the turquoise first. And I'm just squeezing it straight from the, from the paint. I mean, you could mix stuff in each one, but um, sometimes I'll do that, sometimes I won't. So for this one, I'm just doing it straight out. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna go with white one more time on top. And then I'll put the colors on one more time. Just to give it a good layer when we're, we're doing the pour. Kind of gives it more stripes as we go through the different layers. I had issues seeing the comments yesterday, so just in case if I don't see them, pop up I will respond later so that's looking pretty right there okay so those three colors and I'm just gonna start on this one back here and then we'll see what it looks like and then I'll decide if I'm gonna continue on or pick another color and you know make use of the time so let's take a peek and see what it looks like I like to do circles when I pour on these rocks just because Depending on what it, I'm doing, it looks pretty cool. This one looks pretty good. I always try to go up and around just so I hit all the ends and try to keep that same design around the rock. And that looks pretty cool, huh? I like the way the end looks, how that kind of blends. But even though it looks a certain way right now, the, the paint's still flowing off the rock, so still has time for it to go down the sides so it's gonna look a little different I'm just gonna look around just to make sure I hit all the sides on there I got the back of it and everything the paint underneath of it looks really pretty too when you get used to pouring you won't have a lot of overflow unless your paints really thin and then you're gonna have a lot of excess um, paint around there so you just have to kind of get used to how that looks, how you're pouring and how much use there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a tiny little bubble right here. And those kind of happen and sometimes, let me see if I can blow it. Sometimes you can blow them out of there. 
Okay, that looks really cool on the paint inside. Looks super neat. I think I'm gonna layer some more layers in there because I think that was a really good call. I can't remember whose name it was that told me the colors to pick, but thank you for the colors, the orange and the turquoise, because that looks really good together. Along with the white, because that kind of helps, kind of helps the paint go further too. So I'm going to layer them on. This time I'm going to put the white in between the colors, but you can do it any way you want. I mean, different ways you pour the paint into the cup result in the different look that you get. Hey there, Jessica. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of digging that way that blends on the side too. That looks really neat. I did get a couple of, um, I don't know if you, you guys ever heard this and you're not familiar with it, but the, what they're called is cells. Like there's different things you can add into the paint. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any little ones. Kind of like a little bit of a webbing here, but not that much, not that much there. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna try to make a stripe. To make a stripe, you go up and back. Oh. Karen will hopefully, she said she's not able to see it that well, hopefully able to see it better after I finish and save it for the, for the group. I was having some issues um, with this um, earlier this week. I'm thinking maybe I'll just um, do the lives from the Positivity Rocks um, page um, instead of my name. That might help too. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. Actually, halfway through, I think I'll stop the feed on this one and then I'm going to go to login different see if that helps I like the the green that's coming out so I want to go back to the middle and stripes are cool because you can usually get good stripes if you just go back and forth I just squeeze the tip of the cup just to make sure that I'm getting a slow flow of it. And then I just have to just make sure I go back over the corners because usually those get missed. See how there's like a one little spot. Looks like I missed right there. I'm going to try to, I think it's going to close, but case it doesn't. I covered that spot there. I think what I'll do right now just to just to see what's going on with the video feed just in case it's not working for some of you. I'm just gonna log out of this one really quick. Let's see. Susie, hey Susie can you let me know is the video feed looking correct? just checking to see if it's viewable or not you can let me know that would be great um, maybe I'll move on to, to one more and you guys let me know if you guys are unable to see stuff if you guys can see things great then I'm just gonna keep feeding from this sign in okay okay as long as you guys can view I'm gonna keep keep on going and I really like these colors, they're really good, but I do want to do different colors, so I'm going to stop right there on those. And I'm going to go to these next colors, which are this pink, like a bright pink uh, metallic gold glitter, and this penny color. Um, do you guys think, let me know, well, I'm going to see if whoever chimes in here. Do you think I should add white to these colors? Or I should just have the colors blend together by themselves? What do you guys think? I'm kind of gonna go with whatever someone lets me know with. And that way I'll know. You guys let me know. Add some white in there, Susie said. Okay, I'm gonna add white. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Start it, I'm not gonna put too much, but I'm gonna start it at the bottom of the cup. Just enough to feel a little bit. I'm just using the white that had the oil in there because that's a good 
helps mix it up a bit. I don't like to mix a whole bunch of stuff, but usually one paint color, I'll mix stuff in there. Oops, someone said no white. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll do two. I'll do one with white and one with no white. So we'll do two so we can see what that looks like. How about that? We'll do two. This one, no white. So I'm gonna start with the colors on this one and then I'll go back to the white. And we'll see what that looks like, the difference So this. Same stuff, but one's colors, one's with the white. Doing the gold next. Gonna do the same layer on each one. Well, one's colors and one's white. The glitter, I like to put the glitter in the middle of everything, so I wanna put it on top. If you put the glitter on the top, it just comes off of it really quick, so. Put some of this glitter in there. I've tried different glitters, but I really like this Martha Stewart glitter. It's a little pricey, but it's good. It's good, it's good stuff. Okay, that was the same glitter. Last one's going to be this copper color. Hold on, i got to put you down for just a second. I think this copper color I got from Target. It's pretty good. It's a little bit thick though, so I'm just gonna go on the top in the middle. Got a little chunk of something right there. Okay, same thing with this one. Okay. I don't want to do too much because I want to um, kind of do a couple different colors to show you different stuff. Okay. All right, this is one with the white in it. So just give it a little rotate there. I'm going to have two small rocks just so we see what it looks like with each of these colors. Okay, musical rocks over here. Okay. Okay, so got the got the paints in there. I'm gonna check it out, see how it's going. Kind of kind of start from the middle because it feels like the gold's gonna come off the top. So I'm gonna try to keep it keep from losing it because that's the nice color. Oh, that looks pretty. Almost looks like a castle, like in the middle of the um, of the pour. There, it looks like a castle right here. It's pretty cool, or maybe like a boat or something. I don't know. Or maybe two people. Looks like one person right there and the other person right here. What I like about pores, you can find some cool stuff in there. So I was pretty happy with the way that came out. And this is with the white. So that's with the white. And I still have some leftover, so I'm going to finish the one with the white. So at the bottom, we'll probably get more blended color. So I'm just going to kind of let this one layer over the top. Okay, that looks pretty cool. You can tell the white right here left of like a little cool little trace right here on the side. Looks pretty neat. Almost looks, almost looks like a pair of lips, like if you're looking at it. it looks like a pair of lips right there. <laughs> it's kind of neat. I got a little spot where I didn't get paint yet, so I need to go over that one area but I don't want to lose those little those little lips there I might bye bye still looks cool okay okay so this was with the white so I'm gonna put this aside these ones are just the colors themselves 
I'm trying to get in a good spot so we have good light when I pour in here. That one made like a little circle right there. That was kind of neat. The way that I did that. Okay. I don't have too much excess paints over here, so I didn't want too much because I don't want to clean up too much tonight. So these are just the paints themselves, no white. I'll try to get a good lighting here. Turn it so you can see it pour better. I think I'm going to try to... Oh, that came out really pretty. I'm gonna stand up because it has a better light if I stand up. It's always surprising where the um, glitter will go because sometimes you think the glitter will go everywhere, and it always makes like this really cool how it did that. It looks really neat. Okay, I do have a little bit left over, but not too much, so. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more of the red color and the glitter. And um, this gold color for this last one. Actually, I missed this end on this side right here, so I'll try to get that last. Get a better light there. I try to kind of keep with where the circle's at so it kind of follows the design around. It's getting pretty close on there. It came out pretty good too. I just have this last little piece on this corner. And then I have a couple new colors I'll do too. Thank you, Susie. It is really pretty too. Hopefully it stays that glittery once I seal it too. Because when they do dry, I mean, when they do dry, they don't always look the same as when they look wet, because they always look a little bit different. It has a bubble. There we go. I have to blow the little bubble off the top. There's one right there, too. Okay. Now I do have this magenta color. I haven't decided what I'm going to add it to, but I mixed the Liquitex um, slow dry medium with this basics half and half and then mixed them together and a little bit of water. So I have this color potentially I could use at some point. Um, let's see, what other colors did I write down to do? I think that'll be my next one. Let's do that. I think I'll put this on the bottom. And I think I'm going to use this gold with that because that color, that magenta color is really nice. So we'll see how that blends with that. So those two together. I'm really thinking I want to add a glitter just to see what it looks like with that dark purple color. Who knows what it's going to look like. And just to mix it up a bit. I'm going to add the black. I was debating whether I wanted to add black or white, but I'm just going to add just black. I'm not mixing anything in there. I'm just going to put it down for a minute. i got to open it up. I don't always like doing black because sometimes I like to write on them, but some of these might be dragon eyes. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. 
a little bit in the top of here. I'm just going to kind of layer it and see what happens with this one because I don't really know what's going to come out, but I kind of want to make use of this pretty color because it's really pretty. And a little bit more glitter on top. And let's see, I think that's all. Okay, the cup's pretty heavy. Let's see, maybe maybe a tiny bit more black on the top. Okay, I have no idea what this is gonna come out like, but it's gonna be dark, so we'll check. I have three big rocks though, so I'm hoping to make use of that color there so I don't have any idea on the design I'm going for I'm just gonna kind of slowly work the paint and see what I get just wanted to make sure it's viewable though too okay, some of these might be dragonized so I'm trying to see if I can get a cool looking design on them as I'm going. Now this looks really cool. And the way that the, um, I wanna say that magenta color comes out, it's like gooey and it's, um, I have it mixed with the slow flowing um, medium. So when it comes out of the cup, it's really letting me control the, um, the circle so I'm like potential dragon eye really it's hard to see how the color is let me back off of it really quick because you can't really see the beauty of, of how it looks but it's freaking amazing it looks really cool okay so I'm I actually have a lot of paint I mean this paint it's pouring so slowly because it's got that Liquitex slow flow um, medium and this basics in here along with other colors, but it that's that's seeming to really slow it down a lot Try to come from a different angle so you can take a peek at it, but it Looks really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on going with this one. Um I'm gonna do something a little bit different on this next one. Oh my gosh, you guys, my eyes are over here in heaven. It is like really pretty how it's coming out. I'm not sure if I'm fully capturing this, but it's hard to really see. Kind of see better like that. Anyways, um, this is amazing. It is amazing. Okay. Okay, I, this, this cup is really lasting me. Like, I really can tell that this medium that comes out slow, slow, it really does help it because it helps me control the paint more. And the glitter was really a great, a great, a great idea. Sometimes I get a little nervous with glitter, like thinking, I don't know about glitter, but it looks really cool. And I'm looking in the camera and I'm looking at the rock and it just, oh my gosh, doesn't that do it justice? I'm trying to back off of it, trying to get a better view for you guys, but it's kind of a better view from a little further out. Okay, last one. It gets a little darker as you get closer. This last one, because of the way it looks right there, I'm going to try to kind of keep the design flowing out as it's going out, keeping that look. You know, 
I'm doing is just going back and forth with the cup and keeping it close. And that's just helping me keep the flow going the same direction too. It's has a cool look to it. I haven't poured that much on um canvas, but from because I've been used to the rocks, it's kind of bores me because it's so flat. So I really like the way the rocks look so different. Okay, let me look up in case I miss anything from anybody here. Let's see. Okay, so let me just do a little roll call here. Hi, Kathy, Jessica, Karen, Susie, Dana, Louise, um, Jessica, let's see, I'm trying to go, Stacy, um, let's see, Lisa, Janie. Okay, make sure I make sure I called you all on that. I'm just gonna let you guys know that these by far like I've done a lot of rocks, but every time I do a live it's like I get way good luck with everything. So thank you guys, whoever's on here. But these three are amazing. Uh, my favorites. That one right there. If I do a dragon eye, it will be mine. Be my precious and these colors I mean it's hard to see let me if I come right here those colors oh my gosh those ones are awesome clear oh Dana okay yes clear coat I'm gonna show you that actually let's take a little break and I remembered to put um, extra batteries in my phone all right I charged it let me turn the light on here Okay, I did want to do just a quick little um, showing how I do my clear coats here. I use the DuraClear, sorry, it's a little dark right here, and the Triple Thick first if I want a really glassy look, and those are the ones I use on the eyes. But for the main part tonight, I'm just going to show you me doing the DuraClear. The triple thick does have a, I don't want to say it's a potent smell, but it's a little more smelly. The Dura Clear by itself doesn't smell that much at all. Oh, thank you so much, Jessica, for answering that question. There's just a question about the extra paint that flows on the side right there. I do not leave them sitting in that paint for the next hour. I'll clean up around the edges and I'll reuse that paint so nothing gets lost. Don't lose any paint. Maybe maybe a teaspoon if you have to throw some away. Okay, I'm just getting the gloves on. And this is mainly because, um, well, it's really because I don't want my hands to get sticky in this stuff. Sometimes it's so sticky. It's not sticky, it's the shine stays on a long time. So got my little glove here. Foam brushes. Just keep a bunch of foam brushes up here because that's the main purpose is just for the ceiling. I have a ton. I'm not doing these all tonight, but I'm just gonna grab one. Have a nice little saying right there too, so that's a good one. And um I'm, just, I'm trying to see how I'm gonna do this because I really only have one hand here, so I, I think I'm just gonna do uh, do without the glove. I'm just gonna go right on top here. Usually I'll hold it so I can get around the edges, but let's go right over the top. Now sometimes what I do first, because sometimes, um, depending on the shine of the rock, the the pin, the micron pin that I use, they're these these micron pins, they tend to um, bleed a bit depending on the surface they're on. So sometimes I'll use Mod Podge first before I do the seal. And if you hear any dogs barking, it's my dog. He, he knows when I'm live sometimes. He wants some attention. Okay, so one, one or two coats of the DuraClear will be cool. And usually I just do one. 
and it's usually fine. And then usually within about five minutes or 10 minutes, they seal up pretty good. They're, they're good and done. Okay, take this glove off. I didn't really need it. Do you guys want me to pour some more? You guys want to see some more pouring? I think that this color looks so good. I got to continue with that color and see what happens. Cause I still have a good amount of paint in here, but I really have a lot of this red color. So I'm gonna pour it in there and and sometimes when I'm pouring, if I really get a good pour going and I'm enjoying that, the outcome, I just keep going with that same color. Sometimes you could do the same color the next night and you're not going to get the same outcome. So just kind of go with what works. Okay. Sorry, this dog likes to make an appearance sometimes and he is wanting a snack. So I'm just going to show you my dog really quick because the battery's going to run in the house. So let's see. Hey, you have food here. You just want attention? Oh, you want some water? Okay. Okay, one minute, boy. One minute. Okay. Okay, now next. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, now I gotta add some black to the top of that. And I really like that you're never going to get the same rock because it's always, it's not like a surprise, but really you never really know exactly what's going to come out. Put that on top. Um, I think I'll put a little more on this on top. And the one thing I noticed out of using these two products right here in the back is that uh, when you do use them, it does make the paint flow a lot slower so that's nice and Jessica said that she enjoys the slow medium or whatever you added well thank you I do too I'm glad we were we were I barely read the message and we we're right on the same page but yes I do too because it also flowed off the edges slower too over here so I don't have that much to pick up so that's kind of nice and these are really cool I like the way these came out too they came out really pretty. Okay, so I have these ready. Let's see what happens with these. I'm just gonna go with trying to drizzle out some stuff. And this one, I think I have more of the burgundy in there because that's all I really see right now. So we'll see how the color comes out of there. Oh, that looks really pretty. I do have some spots where I know I need to get back over here to go over, so I'm going to try to drizzle. That looks really pretty. I like the way the colors look in there too. So this one I'm just going to try to go, try to let you view it here. Let's see. Let's go with this one. See how I can go around. I really like the way the um, the glitter paints in there looks because it makes it really look shiny from the inside of there. Looks really cool. Okay. So much lovely paint down there. I don't want to be up too late doing transfers. What time is it? Oh, 11 o'clock? Okay, we're doing okay. And so I got this other rock right here. So I'll do one of those. This one. And let me know if you guys want to see any transfers before I finish off tonight. This looks like I had a majority of magenta in the bottom. And since it's like just like one color right now and I have gold right here still, I'm just going to pour straight from there, gold itself. And I'm starting in the middle and work my way out and see what happens.
I don't know if I really like that, so I'm going to grab this purple right here. Just experiment and try to drizzle some around the top and see what happens. Pretty good. Look, Moana. Like a Moana rock right there. Oh, it's, uh, Susie asked me, um, why do I use two cups? We well, usually the um, if I mix anything with just one cup, like this one's mixed with the Liquitex um, slow medium, and the other ones with the basic. Um, I'll mix that first in a separate cup before I mix it in a pouring cup just because you want to mix it before you actually you know pour it so same thing with the white that one's separate too it's just mixed separate but i usually just pour with the one cup that i have okay well, guys um i think i'm about done for the night unless did someone say they want to see any transfers let me see do 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 Let's see, okay, if any of you guys want to see transfers, let me know on what color paint you want to see the transfer on. Because I think I'm about to cut out right now. These came out really great, so. Let's go over and look at all these ones. And then I think I'll do a transfer of one of these colors before I cut out of here. And Susie, just to let you know, working on that dragon eye. Almost got that finished. Got a whole bunch I'm doing at the same time. Oh, we're psychic, Susie. See, I just said that and you asked. See, we're, we are on the board on that one. It is coming along. This one, I don't like this one. What do you guys think? I'm going to pour something over this one. Hold on here. Where is that cup of paint? Um see this paint right here. This is from a different pour. I'm going to pour this one over the top of this one. Sorry, I'm waiting for this paint to come out of the top before. I just didn't really like the way it looked, so I might as well just try to mess with it right now. Go slow with the way the paint's coming out so I can get design on there. That looks cool. We'll see what it looks like when it dries because the intent of me doing that, just in case you didn't recognize, was because the paint's going to separate and then, um, That'll be my spot where my eye is going to be. So there was a, a purpose in that. April told me the blue and the orange transfers. Okay, let's do this. Let's see. So I'll put, let's put it right there. And this one came out really cool. It was not happy with it because it was all magenta it's hard to see from this point oh, that's better but anyways if i put the gold on top and i just squeezed it off the top of the of here just squeezed it right on there and then i put the magenta right back over it really is popping and you can't see it but down the middle right here it's the glitter is in there and it looks really cool okay okay let's see Priscilla, hello. In case I missed any of you guys, Patsy, hello. I mean, I'm trying to watch as I'm going, but it's getting stuck in, in the excess paint here. Okay, so let's see which paint do I like the most. I gotta sit down. Mm -mm. Cut though. Okay. 
let's see. I think this paint on the bottom looks pretty cool. Get this brush ready. I'm just gonna go underneath and then come across the rock itself right here. Just turn my brush over. Do the same thing. That's looking pretty cool in there. I'm gonna grab the paint from over here too. And that way you know too, in case you haven't poured before, that that even if you see us pour and you see all this extra paint sometimes in our pores when we take our pictures, because it looks pretty that way, um, that we don't leave them sitting there in the paint, you know, to let them, you know, cure that way. That's not how it happens. Just sometimes the pictures look pretty that way though. So I'm just grabbing the paint and then I'm just putting it on wherever there's no paint on the rock. Put it get underneath there. And I'm just trying to find the spots that I haven't touched and just kind of go underneath there. And this one looks really pretty, so really like the way that one looks. I'll show you what it looks like once I get finished. I'm about hitting the end of it. This is hard to see around the whole thing. But it really, the whole purpose of using um, and doing these um, transfers is because um, for the most part you can clean the paint up and put it back in the cup but it tends to lose the color. So the color is brighter if you pick it up straight underneath and put it on a rock. And this one looks amazing. And Patsy asked me if I let the dripping sit um, for several minutes before I do the transfers. Usually not, um, but sometimes like how I poured a bunch of these and I'm not gonna do them all at the same time. It's okay if they wait too, I mean, if you have a lot of them. But for the most part, right after you have the overflow, you can use the paint right after to do the transfers. On these though, I think after I, because um, I've already done that one transfer, I'm probably gonna put the paint back in the cup, move it to the side here. So I have my other free hand, I'd hold the paint cup with one hand too, so just really putting that, cleaning up the bottom putting it in there and I'll probably save all this paint in a little canister whatever I don't finish tonight and then I'll um, use to re-pour but that one came out really pretty so all this paint that's on here I just usually just pick it all up put it back in the cup And then I tend to use these flat brushes because you can get right underneath of the bottom right here and you can clean all that extra paint underneath. It does require you to do this for at least, I mean, I would do it at least for a good 45 minutes to an hour after you pour to keep cleaning up underneath just to ensure that the paint is not sitting in a puddle of paint. These ones are going to give really cool transfers. So let me do one of those and then we'll cut out because I think I'm about hitting that time where I need to focus with two hands. So I'm going to grab one rock and I think I have a clean brush here. And so I'm going to do the transfers from this paint right here to this rock or whatever extra paint I have that looks similar. Oh, it's already got the design in there, so really I just tilting it over the rock. But it really makes use of that, the way the paint is, because as it blends with the black and the gold, it loses its color, like on how you can see all the different layers. So it's nice to make use of that. And these colors look really fancy together, so I'm really happy with the way they look. 
I haven't tried the um, flow troll yet, but I will try that soon. I kind of like to master other things first and then move on to the next so that I know what the paint's doing. But, but that one looks fantastic. That looks like better than the pores, like this one right here. Okay. I think I'll do one more for whoever's still hanging in there. I don't know how late is it for you guys over there, but I'm going to do one more because all this paint right here is way too precious not to make use of it. So I'm just going to start grabbing paint and smearing it on top. Let's see what happens. also helps me not have to throw it back in the cup too so that's kind of nice Patsy and Susie up till 2 o'clock in the a.m. just for me just to see the pouring oh just because we're all addicted to pouring I wonder if it's it's um, evening time. I mean, or like you know, in the early evening for somebody that's watching. Okay, I have a little bit more to do on this side. It's getting a little messy here. I'm not sure what I'm videotaping because I'm super focused on trying to get all these little edges covered. Okay. Well, that one's amazing. I don't always like the black, but these ones came out really awesome. This one was like the best one right here. I'm just like, that one's great. Okay, let's see. And then there's one that I did like with two different colors. And that looks really cool. I wasn't happy with the way it looked at first, so I was like, I'm gonna just put two colors together. Priscilla said she thinks the transfers look better than the pores. You know what? A lot of the times I think the same thing too. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between a pour and a transfer because it looks looks so cool. Okay. Okay, what okay guys, I can't stop. I can't stop it. I gotta do one more transfer. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on the sorry it's a little dark on this side of the room over here, but I'm just gonna grab some paint and see what happens with this transfer got a lot of glitter over here so I want to make use of that pretty paint okay that one looks pretty cool but I need some more of a different color on the top Go. That looks cool. Miss the spot. It's hard to tell the areas you miss until you start looking around the whole entire rock. Okay, guys, I'm about to cut out so that I can finish cleaning up around these rocks. But altogether, I was pretty happy with the luck that was given by the members that helped me pick colors earlier because that really, really did ensure that I had a good pour. So kind of didn't have any idea of what color what I wanted to use besides the besides this color. So that was it's helpful to have other picks in there. But you guys have a great evening. Patsy said, don't go. Oh, April said I make picking up the paint look easy. The brush does, I'm telling you. Or do I have one of the flat brushes not wet? Oh man, they're all dirty. But what is this? Um, what brand is this? Crafts, the Craft Smart, I think. Just the flat one. Comes with like a pack of five. There's like five of them, but this thing is like scoops it up for me, so it helps me scoop it up. And to those of you who are brave and you guys use those little grades or cookie sheets, I mean, what are they called? 
my brain won't function. You guys are brave. I just like to pour flat because I'm a scaredy cat and I don't want to, you know, have anything where I might fall. So I feel it's safer that way for me. Okay, Patsy, I'm out of here. Susie, I'm out of here. Not in Jessica, Priscilla. I'm trying to look up the line of who who's up here, but oh, big. Yes, got me. Baker's Racks. I was having a brain fart with that one. Thank you. Helps helps to fill in the blanks there. I was kind of at a loss right there for the word of that. But you guys have a great evening. Did you guys see I try to put little positive phrases in here? Get a little get a little happy juice going while I'm pouring too. Sometimes some of those messages are for me too, so they're kind of nice. Kathy said, good night, keep pouring. I will keep, I probably will keep pouring just a couple more, but I'm going to have to cut out of here because I do need both of my hands. So sometimes in order to have a little more fun, you need to get both hands dirty. So that's so we'll make it off right now so that I can finish up. One last little view here of the rocks. This one's really cool right here. That one's really cool. And I'm glad I videotaped it so I can remember which colors I used on this one because that was really cool. I, really, I was really happy with how this paint worked when I used that product and that product back there, half and half. It slowed the process up. It slowed the flow up. And that really does work. So I'm all for that part, so. So here is the rest. One more sweep through and then I'm outie. I got to clean them up underneath on the ones that I haven't cleaned up and then I've got to go to bed soon. So one little look here and I'll try to do another live soon. But um, it's nice for you guys that are helping me pick the colors and you guys all have a good night. Bye.